Hello there, welcome back, Sudhir here, and I'm going to record uh, a video for uh, cluster analysis uh, Shiny App in R. Again, the prerequisites are the same. Uh, you should have R and R Studio downloaded and installed. Then please go to this particular uh, URL, and when you open that URL, you will get this. It's my GitHub page. Please copy all this, just copy it. Okay, control C, control V, and paste it here in your in your R Studio uh, input tabs. Yeah. Then well, let's get back here. I want you to go to lines 25 to 27. That defines the clustering app. Okay, just select that part and then click Run. And what it will do is it will basically yep, open the app for you. Yeah, Have a look at the app. These are the input sidebar. This is the title bar. These are the output tabs. And I'm going to go through them. I want you to go here and click Open in Browser. It will open the same thing in a browser. Okay. Now this is going to require data in a particular format. You can go to Data Input Format and have a look at that. I would suggest you download an, an example file. We are only doing segmentation and not these two in this particular case. And save it wherever you want. Okay. So I'm going to read it in now. Let me just complete this part. So we've seen this. We've seen the overview tabs here. Okay. Now you can read in the data provided it is in the right format. So here it is. Okay. I'm just going to read it in. It's read in. It's giving you a segmentation summary. There are three methods you can use. I'm going to use model based. That's the first one that I would recommend you to use. And what it does is it basically invokes certain routines in the back end and gives you uh, it gives you the optimal number of clusters. That's the nice part about it. Okay, both in uh, so that should be four. The moment I know this should be four, I go here and I make this four, apply changes, and you will see that I will now have four clusters. So now there are four clusters, and these are the centroids, the group means, cluster means, along each of the input uh, variables. You can go with k-means, you can go with hierarchical. Well, let me show you what hierarchical might look like. So when you do this, you get a hierarchical summary. You can go here and have a look. Okay, go here and have a look. It will give you a dendrogram. Okay, going back to model, you can go to k-means, apply changes, and this is what it looks like. Okay, these are all the, the ovals are the segments. This is the summary for segmentation. And you have the data for segmentation, segment membership given here, and you can download the file. Okay, I'm not doing discriminant and targeting, so I'm just leaving them as is. Okay.